Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna start off the part by going to Flunk Funky Flights 2 because otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hire a plane. I'm also gonna go back to the first world and buy the flight there just for the sake of buying all the flights because I noticed I've been buying the flights along the way anyway so yeah that's why I'm doing this. Back to world four. Oh, it's up. <laughs> that one's kind of confusing. Next level, rickety race. Let's start. And I, there's probably something right at the start here. Just because you can see the platform up there, and he's, he's even hidden bananas there. Oh come on! <laughs> I can so totally make that with Diddy. PK Gam knows this. Can I switch? Oh, there we go. It's e definitely easier at Dixie, that's why I switched. I just came up short on the jump and I, I didn't feel like climbing up there again. Alright, I will destroy them all. Yeah! Uh, mm. yeah I think I took a wrong path there. Uh, am I still gonna get it? So, I guess so. I guess you don't have to actually destroy them all, but get a certain amount of them. Uh, okay, I was wondering what I was gonna land on there. Um, see that? See that down there in the little uh, crevice? I don't know if you can really tell what that is, but I'll show you what that is in a second. Okay, the main gimmick of this level is indeed a race, but press press left at the start. Yeah, go backwards. There's a boost barrel that makes you go super fast, and yeah, it's very very handy. Okay, as the name of this level states it is a rickety race, and you've got to get to the end of it. And this is a very fast-paced level. I, I mean, not by the end of it, but but I mean, you got to get to the first place spot in order to get a prize out of it. Why did I say the end of it? I have no no clue. But that flag that keeps popping up there is telling you what place you are in, and you're going so fast you got to yeah pay attention to the signs. And I missed the O. <laughs> like. Exclamation points mean jump. It's a very, very fast-paced level. Just pay attention to the signs, and don't worry, the clanks will not throw any stuff at you in this level. They just like to race you. This last one, however, is quite the doozy, and I missed the letter G, and I somehow that got it. Huh. This is a lot easier than I remember it to be. <laughs> just don't die. Okay. That went pretty well. Oh, and I was holding right the entire way. I don't know if it really helps or not. Uh, let's try and get something out of this. What? Those are the only two. Pr are the only three prizes? Though? It's kind of. Hmm. I, they, I usually expect like a one-up or something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as you have height on your jump while you're floating down, for some reason the it still counts as downward momentum. Yeah, I don't quite get that either. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, monkey Museum, let's go. Let's see what he has to say about levels that I can get hints on for free. <laughs> you know, I could probably spend all the tokens I want, in all honesty. <laughs> uh, hinting at Squitter being in the level. Ooh, hmm. I'll have to remember that. Because that's a future level coming up. I think that's hinting at the um, the thorns that I had to jump through in order to find that Donkey Kong coin, and I'm skipping the rest. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back in a later part and uh, buying and buy all the hints out, like just for the fun of it, just to see what he has to say about stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna conserve my coins just for the sake of safety, I suppose. Wrinkly is a winner. <laughs> That would be crazy, Kremlin. That's the only one with green in it, and I know it's green, so... <laughs> but there is a different variation, of which you'll see a little bit later. Yeah! 
Gotta love how they spell stuff with a C with a K in this game. Just a sort of special touch to give that. Mm, hornet hole. Although it was a horrible hive. <laughs> he already kind of gave away that name right at the, the first quiz. <laughs> I suppose he didn't specify where she was. Um, hmm. I just took a guess. <laughs> it was a one in three shot. I got it. Baboon booty. Oh yeah, this one sounds good. <laughs> Radley. It's definitely good to know the names of things. Mm -hmm. Uh, green. Hmm. I just seen him. That's why I, I, I kind of kind of visualized it. Uh. That, I think... Yeah! That's an enemy we'll soon see coming up, actually, I think, in the uh, next level. I beat all your games. I can't play your games anymore. <laughs> Alright, back out. Mudhole Marsh. Let's go. This is, I think, the one that uh, Cattle Ninetales is in. Uh, got a flitter infestation. I went left here just in case. I didn't want to miss anything behind me this time, like the first time on that one level. Um, I'm gonna respawn you over there because I kind of want to see what's up here. Nothing? Oh, okay. <laughs> the Cattle Nine Tails is a rather interesting enemy in that you can't. Well, I'll let it. Oh, I was gonna say I'll let it grab me, but I forgot. You gotta let it. You gotta jump on it for it to order in order for it to grab you, and it'll throw you up in the air like that. And you can use that to collect stuff if need be. Um, you can only hit it when it's stunned and dizzy on the ground, basically. So, yeah. Uh, I need... I was gonna say... Oh, jeez. Thanks for bouncing me in the marsh. <laughs> oh, and there's a, a thing that I noticed about the uh, click clacks. Is that when you hit them and they get all fast when, once they recover... They, they tend to fall off edges afterwards, like the slow ones will not fall off edges, you know, the ones that you haven't hit yet, but the fast ones will. Okay, throw me up. I was going to say, throw me up to that K. Oh, oh forget it. <laughs> I know there's a Donkey Kong barrels here. Barrels? There's a Donkey Kong barrel here. But yeah, watch. See see how they turn direc change direction? But if I hit one, oh, that one, that other one just despawned. Don't mind it. It didn't actually fall off. Huh. Why didn't that... Huh. They, I guess they only seem to fall off when they want to. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I think I gotta break something out of this chest. <gasps> no, I don't. <laughs> I am playing Fantastico. <laughs> I'm not too far away from my last spot anyway, which is why I'm not cutting forward or anything like that. And do not get whipped by the tails. Yeah, that's why they're called cat o' nine tails, because they're a cat with nine tails as a whip of sorts. Mm. I'm just letting myself go through here <laughs> without any worries. You know, I don't need that. That's just got bananas in it. <laughs> uh, I feel like a true monkey. Next thing I need is just to be able to throw poop on things. <laughs> um, why is there a barrel inside a chest and how did this manage to fit inside the chest? Can I break this? I can. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's invincibility. That's interesting. Hopefully there wasn't anything important in that other chest. <laughs> I'd be very disappointed if there was something important in that other chest. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah. No! I need... I need Uppy! <laughs> Good thing I had a partner there, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get up there. Oh, boy. This could be tricky. Because I can't... Well, I suppose there's not that many stars here, so... And I can also... Uh, 
change the direction of whatever I'm throwing, you know, whatever monkey I'm throwing, just by just with the D-pad. So it's kind of it's kind of easy overall, actually. All right, that's one down. I I don't know what's the point of all the weapons. <laughs> no, no, you know what? Throw me that way. No. I was gonna say throw me to the right, but you decided to, decided to throw me left. Mm. It's not very cooperative with me, are you? Do I dare? Yeah. <laughs> Go out of my way. Oh boy. Yep, definitely feeling like a true monkey here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, you don't. Ooh, cannonball. Um. Gotta be careful not to lose the cannonball. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I was a little worried that that was gonna... I was gonna jump off him and it was gonna fall down into the marsh, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. Must kill them all! Uh, oh. Got some tricky throws I'm concentrating too much on to talk. <laughs> And I've got enough coins to get in the next uh, Clubus kiosk area. So let's... Wait, what? Am I supposed to, like, kill that and then do a cartwheel jump jump to get that thing? And I should be a lot more careful around these crockheads because they might decide to dip into the swamp, and then that would be kind of devastating. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. They're really... S <laughs> really, really slow. And this appears to be Hiccup Edition, because I just hiccup. pardon me. <laughs> Aha! That wasn't too too bad. <clears throat> ah, here we go, here's the one that likes to go in and out of the marsh. Boop. No! Dang it! Don't throw me to the left! Oh. Good thing I was able to control myself. Oh boy, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh oh Am I supposed to barrel hop the whole way? Yep. Oh, jeez, panic. <laughs> uh, why are you pointing that way? Do I need to use you for something? Chuck. Oh! Well, that's not friendly. <laughs> oh, my. I got a time the roulette to get the Donkey Kong coin. <laughs> uh, just... Yeah! I was a little worried that I was gonna fail there. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Ooh, clubber. Looking at the time of this part, with the Club uh, Lost World level coming up, I think it might be smart if I end off the part here, because that one could take a while. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.